In September 2021, I travelled 1,000 miles through some of the most stunningly beautiful parts of Scotland. I was there working with outdoor filmmaker Rachel Serra and several photographers as we captured the story of Andrew Patterson and his team as they attempted an epic 10-day cycling challenge, 100 miles per day through the heart of Scotland. That documentary is now out on GCN+, Plus, the global cycling network streaming platform. It's kind of like Netflix, but for cyclists. This series is going to showcase the incredible landscapes of Scotland and give you a behind the scenes look at the very serious business of documentary filmmaking. I honestly think this is going to be a wicked shot. Yeah. In this video, it's day six. Malik de Portree on the Isle of Skye. Day six, and it's sheer unadulterated panic as we try to get to the passenger ferry for Skye. How you feeling? So panicked. <laughs> Okay, they're away. We've got a ferry to catch. Oh, we're gonna be down there in five minutes. Where's Jonathan? He's driving the car. Come on! <laughs> Microphone, where are we going? Sky. Oh. Sky. Sky. <laughs> to Sky. She gets some introductions from people for this. No, I can't do it. Claire. Alan. Helen. Steve. My name's Dave. Hello. <laughs> and we have our chief cameraman. Hi. You, you need to point it at me. Oh, wait. oh sorry. Stephen. <laughs> Board in the fairy sky. Compared to yesterday. Yes, I haven't I'm had an iron brew yet. Yeah, the brew will get you through. He's like, we just got a call from the bike team or to say that there's a problem with the electrics on Andrew's bike. How big a deal is this? It could be challenge ending. Challenge ending? Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't it? If his bike doesn't bike. work, then. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no. We might drama. have to go home tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, hopefully not. get some duct tape and fix it. <laughs> fix anything with duct tape. Joining the Patterson team. <laughs> on the road again bike we think is fixed they're going to run it for a couple of miles see what happens there's a wire 
which basically there was a connector which wasn't tight so it was like loose and jiggling which was i don't know producing sparks and heat which was melting things and it, it was bad i think they fixed it alan fixed it with a gangster knife and <laughs> jonathan's rusty knife yeah jonathan's rusty knife and some tape so hopefully that holds and we've probably lost an r uh, but we'll only pick it up. So that's a puncture and a breakdown of Andrew's bike all in one day. All in like an hour? All in an hour, yeah. Phew. On the bright side, it might mean we end up with better light towards the end of the day. At the end of the day... But it also might be raining. But it also might be raining, because <laughs> the forecast here is completely inconsistent. And it also might mean we're in incredibly late. And eating yeah. dinner at 10 o'clock again. Yeah, it was 10 o'clock last night. Sky this said. See the sights this said. It's raining! The first day in Sky ended with a downpour. Everybody soaked to the skin, cold and shivering, and just really, really thankful the rain hadn't come any earlier. Rain, sacrificing myself to get some shots of the cyclists looking absolutely. Thanks for that! Just over here we have the magnificent Kilt Rock and... I can't remember the name. Waterfall, which is this water, massive waterfall. Shoots out of the cliffs, I've seen the photographs. Incredible flow down to the sea. And here it is. Apparently somebody turned off the water because today the waterfall is no more than a trickle, which is rather surprising considering the amount of water that's currently landing on us. Oh. The next day we would get to see a lot more of sky.